Hey, how's it going guys? In today's video, we're going to learn how to upload a local CSV file to Google BigQuery using BigQuery API in Python. All right, so uh, here I have a CSV file that I downloaded from uh, DataSF, and the dataset is called Air Traffic Passenger Statistics. And I'll link the link in the description below so you can download the dataset as well. Now I want to uh, upload this uh, CSV file from my uh, local drive. So I saved the file under my project folder. And I want to use Python and Baker API to upload the uh, data set as a table onto my JJ data set in uh, BigQuery. All right, so here I'm going to uh, create a blank Python script. Now in my script, I'm going to uh, import the time module. And from google.cloud, I'm going to import the BigQuery module. Then I'm going to construct my BigQuery client object. And I'll name the object client. Next, we need to uh, specify the uh, data file that I want to upload to our uh, data set. All right, so here I'm going to create a loadjar config object from the uh, BigQuery loadjar config class. And inside the class, we need to uh, specify the data type format or the source data format. In this case, it's going to be a CSV file. So for the source format property or a parameter, we're going to uh, use bquery.sourceformat.csv. And because in my data set, my first row is going to be the header. So going back to the loadjar config class, I'm going to uh, skip the first row by referencing the skip leading rows parameter. And I'll set the value to one, meaning that I want to skip the first row. And to uh, specify the column data type or the column data, data I'm going to uh, use the auto detect feature. And I'll set the value to two just to save me some time uh, for some typing. Now to upload the CSV file locally from our uh, local directory. So here I'm going to uh, grab the file name. Then I'm going to open the file as a read binary. And I'll name the file source file. Now under the we open statement or what we call uh, context manager, I'm going to load the CSV file using client.load table from file method. Inside the uh, load table from file method, we're going to provide the data file in this case, it's going to be the source file object. And for the uh, table name, so here I forgot to create a variable to assign the table name. All right, so for the table name, I'm going to name the table SF Air Traffic Passenger Statistics. And make sure that you uh, also include the data size name and the project name. In the load table from file method, also make sure that you assign the uh, jar config object to the jar config parameter to uh, specify the uh, file type. And we perform operation uh, with BigQuery API. The operation is going to be assigned to a queue waiting to be executed. So here I'm going to uh, insert a while loop to wait until the job is complete. If not, I'm going to uh, check the status every two seconds until the job state is equals to done. And once the job is complete, they want to print the uh, job status of the job result. And this code block here is optional. So basically, uh, once I create a table, I want to use BigQuery API to uh, retrieve the table just to make sure that I have uploaded the table successfully. Right, so let me take a look to make sure that I don't miss anything. All right, so everything looks good. And for the entire script, we only wrote, um, let's see, uh, 32 lines of code, which is not too bad. Now if I press F5 to run the script, and let me check my CC file. So I'm going to upload 46,671 rows. Actually, uh, 70 rows without the header. All right, so here I'm getting a 404 error. JJ DS. Oh, okay. All right, so my data set name should be JJ, not JJ DSS. Now I'm trying again. Now the slide, the upload is complete. Now if we look at the terminal, here's the job state. And here's the uh, result status or the result summary. And the last line tells me that I have uploaded 46,670 rows and 12 counts to my gg.sf air traffic passenger statistics table. Now, if I go back to my uh, BigQuery console and refresh the page, just to make sure that uh, we have the table in my BigQuery console. Now under my JJ data set, and here's the SF 
air traffic passenger uh, table. Alright, so let's look at the details. And here I can see that this table has 46,670 rows and the table size is about 5.24 megabytes. So this is going to be everything I'm going to cover in this video and hopefully you guys found this video useful. And feel free to post your question or your feedback in the comment section below. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.